What's going on? So before we get into it, I would like to introduce y'all niggas to the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by Current. Current is a mobile bank account that comes with a Visa debit card. Now nah, that's great chat nigga. This debit card has no hidden fees, no overdraft. Uh, man, shoot, this one especially, this one good for me. No overdraft fees. For example, when you go negative on your account, you know how them regular banks, they charge you money for being broke? This doesn't do that, you know what I mean? This doesn't take from the, from the broke. This supplies. <laughs> you know what I mean? It really do. And last but not least, it has no minimum balance. Another thing, with a black premium card with current, you get your paycheck a whole two days faster, bro. When I say faster, like you get it before niggas. You be balling. Hey, that's that's good for me too, bro. I don't know anybody who don't want their money faster. Current is also a true debit card, you know what I mean? You could connect it with those apps that y'all use, you know what I mean? Cash App, Venmo, and you could even get cash back at stores when you go to shop. Man, I know this app would be good for me, just by the old stuff alone, and I know it'd be good for y'all niggas as well. And yes, for y'all who wondering, you do get an actual debit card, so hey, it's fully official. Current takes about two minutes to sign up, in which that card I was talking about would also be mailed to you for free. That's way better than them old bank accounts that we have out there today. So yeah, Current is available on iOS stores, Android stores. Go and cop that right now, you know what I mean? Click the link below to get your current bank account Visa debit card today. Um, all right, this this one of them stories I'm not, you know, proud of, but it's the truth, you know? Very recent ago, before it was even released, I lost my first very own and yes, my first own <laughs> Netflix show. Now hold up, nigga. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas doing too much. That was a crazy time in my life, bro. Just got done, you know what I mean? Pump faking. Pump faking the internet. Trap Scott talked about me. The Kardashians talked about me. Charlamagne the God made a whole video about me. Kevin Durant talked about me. Anyways. Long story short, life was going great at the time. Things happening kind of fast, you know what I mean? Since dropping, you know what I mean? Those videos back to back to back to back to back, you know what I mean? Doing well in those videos at that. It was like at the time, whatever I planned on literally doing, you know, I did it. And I wanted to be on a magazine, did that. GQ, right there. You know what I mean? Wait, I got something to show y'all niggas. <laughs> you know what I mean? Boom! Ah! Ah! Mm. Wanted to be on the shade room. Did that. I wanted to be on the Breakfast Club. Did that. He came in Angela Yee and Charlemagne the God to the Breakfast Club, bitch. A huge viral story. Turns out that it was an impersonator that actually staged the whole thing. It was a YouTuber named Christian Adam G. Now, if you don't know who Christian Adam G is, he is a man who recently just punked the internet. I wanted to be on the Wendy Williams show or any basically show over there. You know what I mean? Did that. Man, things is crazy at the time, bro. I was like, however, I tried to pump fake the internet. It was working, working. I was like, ah, It was something like that. <laughs> I make it sense to y'all at all. Basically, what I'm saying in normal people language, at the time my career was going up. It was video after video after video. Seen myself. During height of all that, I got this DM. And I was like, hey Christian, call this number. I got an opportunity for you. And you know, a nigga like me don't miss no opportunities. I'm gonna lose hair though. You know, if they call me talking about Christian, I got this. I want you to do some porn. Click. I know, you know what I mean? But if it's something important, I'll, you know, stay on the phone, you know what I mean? So I got this call, Christian, call this number at this time. I got an opportunity for you. Long story short, I call that number. Uh, I think later that day, I believe. It was wrong in the afternoon, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hello? Hey man, Christian, what's up? He don't talk like that, but I'm, I, I, don't, I can't do voices. He sound like Italian mixed with New York, if you ask me. I was like, yeah, who, who's this? Yeah, you told me I got a DM telling you me to call him. Who was on the other end of that phone call? Mark Wahlberg. Yes, I'm talking to the Mark Wahlberg. It's Wahlberg, man. Mark Wahlberg. It was actually him. The very own Mark Wahlberg. The rapper. The actor. You know? Well, you don't rap no more. But the actor. So that was a... Uh, dream in itself. Like I'm talking to the actual Mark Wahlberg. Mark, Mark. 
I can't say the nigga name. So he owned this company, you know what I mean? And this is a production TV, you know, movie company. And what they do, they just get ideas from anywhere they could find ideas from and they send it to Netflix. I was basically on the road to achieving a dream I wanted to do for the longest time. If you don't know me, for the longest, my number one ultimate dream was to always own or be in my own TV show or movie. That's still to this day, that's my dream, you know what I mean? So finally, you know, I, at this time, it was in the reachable future for me, at least I, I thought so. He was like, oh man, Christian, what's up, man? I was like, yeah, I'm doing good. What's up, bro? I got this company. We pitch shows um, to Netflix and we have shows on there basically, you know what I mean? That same idea I see you be doing online, where you be doing stuff on the internet, we wanna bring that idea and put that on Netflix. Bro, really? When he said that, bro, my mind ran loose. <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, boom, bro, I'm about to be the first YouTuber, um, well, black YouTuber? I think I'll be the first black YouTuber to actually have his own Netflix show. I'm thinking at the time, I'm about to make history, you know what I mean? Cause why? Hey, hold on, wait. I'm the first YouTuber to have his Netflix show and I ain't even got a million subscribers yet. I just got over half a million subscribers, you know what I mean? So I thought, okay, that's, a, that's not a good, that's not a good uh, little thing right there, that's dope. I'm about to own cars and I'm about to move my mom somewhere. I'm about to be rich. Like I said, my mind's trying to lose, bro. So yeah, back to the conversation. Yeah, man, bro, I saw your videos. Amazing, bro. Love the videos, bro. I saw the Travis Scott one. How you come up with that, you know? And I told him the truth how I come up with most of my videos, you know? It'll be in a dream, you know? I'll be sleeping. I'll wake up out of nowhere. Some deep sweat. That's how I sweat right now. Like, I'm gonna do that. And I would just dream basically what I want to do and I just put it in the video form. And he's like, yeah, man, I, that's, that's amazing, bro. You know what I mean? And he also saw my other videos, the one where I went homeless. He saw the one where I pretended to be rich on Instagram. And he just thought, you know, this idea would basically be something that would be dope for like the big screen. Long story short, what they wanted to do was basically take my idea. You know the videos I do? My, I try to be videos, my, and this is what happened videos. Fun fact, he was originally gonna call it that. And this is what happened. Because at the end of all my social experiments I do on YouTube, I put at the end, and this is what happened. So he's basically gonna take that idea and show it to a larger audience, you know? Like, of course, Netflix. Man, I was about to be a movie star. I love you, I love your videos, I love your idea, we need to bring this to Netflix. You know, at the time, my mind is running wild. I'm thinking of a million things at once, all the opportunities that could come at me just from this opportunity alone. I'm gonna have my own Netflix show, right? That originally is my idea. No one had to put into this idea. Okay, that's what we gonna do. And he was telling me, you know, you the leader of this, bro. Your videos are amazing, ain't nothing I wanna change on it. All we can do is bring in real cameramen, real crews, real sound system, real everything, and we just make your idea better. So I was basically, I, I didn't have to change myself. All I had to do is basically do what I normally do, but it's not going on YouTube, it's going on Netflix. So I was just happy at the time, bro. I felt like at the time, I was on top of the world, you know? Felt like I was the man. Man, I was out there telling people who didn't even need it to know, bro. Me and the Wendy drive through. <laughs> Wendy's, can I take your order? Yeah, um, yeah, let me, hold on, wait, I got it. Shoot! Um, damn, hold on, I got it. Um, let me get, uh, yeah. shoot, uh, I got it. Um, let me, shoot. Uh, okay, I, all right. Yeah, let's let me get the number one. <laughs> you know, when I pull up to the window, I'd be like, yeah, you know, I got my own necklace, show, right? Thank you, thank you, all right. I got one of them old cars. Me talking to girls, you know. A nigga, a nigga got his own Netflix show, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, something like, you know, just something, something, you know. Nothing, nothing major. Nothing to brag about, you know, something. Just a little something, something to put together, you know. Don't, don't worry about it, though. Anyways, uh, put your, put your number right there. <laughs> that's, that's how that one went. You tell me at the end of the conversation, hey, Christian, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, okay, I'm gonna connect you with my people and we can go from there, you know? And as we went from there, Things started going way downhill. <laughs> when I say downhill, I mean straight downhill. I was right here, and I went downhill just in under a day, or two or three days, I believe, something like that. Some days go by, you know, uh, as we start to finalize things and try to put things in place. Everything was doing fine until I got this one question. This one question, Rachel, like ruins me. I realized for so many opportunities that came my way. At the time, I didn't want to go on YouTube and go on Instagram and be like, hey man, I'm about to have my TV show. I'm finally making my dreams y'all y'all could do it i if i do it y'all can do it too y'all can achieve your dreams keep pushing i didn't want to do all that you know 
because I didn't want nothing bad to happen, <laughs> you know? And then y'all be like, wait, Christian, whatever happened to that Netflix show you're supposed to get? And people will be like, man, Christian's a damn liar. That nigga never had no Netflix show. So I never wanted to put nothing out there until like we had the green light for the first episode. At the time, bro, in my head, this is one of the biggest things. Uh, it was the biggest things at the time that ever happened to me. The Kardashians talked about me, bro. Almost all of them. In one day. I made the shade room four times in one day before, you know? And this moment right here was way over all those times, you know what I mean, in my head, you know? Cause I'm, like I say, I'm finally getting to achieve my dreams, you know? So like I was saying before, the, that downhill spiral <laughs> happened, you know? The dreadful question comes up, you know? He's like, Christian, yeah, um, now this is days later, by the way. And at the time now I'm talking to his people, I'm not talking to him anymore. Hey, Christian, uh, yeah. I wanted to ask you a question. That voice you got, that's a dope voice, amazing accent, bro. Where you from? I was like, from the Bahamas, you know? Oh, Bahamas. Oh. And I'm arguing everything I'm saying in a white man voice, by the way. I just can't do the white man voice like that. It's hard. Oh, yeah, I'm from the Bahamas. He was like, oh, the Bahamas. So you don't live in America? I was like, uh, no. He was like, oh, okay, so you're not American. No? Oh, okay. Makes sense. Okay. All right. Christian, nice talking to you. We'll be in touch with you. Click. And that's the very, very last time I heard from them. Man, the next day, when I said I cried like a baby, I was in my room just covered up. <sighs> my mother was coming in there like, nigga, what's wrong with you? Man, y'all niggas don't know crying like you just lost your own very first Netflix show crying, bro. I was just let up in so many dreams and all that just came crashing down in under a week, bro. Sometimes I ask myself, what would have happened if I just lied, you know? Just say, hey man, yeah, I'm from Georgia. Oh, uh, I'm from Los Angeles, bro. I just be in the Bahamas a lot, you know? I just wonder where I would be today if I just lied. But eventually, you know, I came to, you know, I came to myself. I told myself, you know, what's for me will be for me. What I'm thinking, you know, maybe God had this in plan for me, you know. Give me a little taste of it to give me something bigger down the line. I'll close this door to open another door for me later on down in the future. Nigga, I know I sweat right now. It's hard as hell. I'm no longer upset or, you know, wishing what could have been, you know. So, yeah, that's my story. <laughs> How I lost my Netflix show in under one week. Or oh, in a few days, basically. Yeah.